sleep deprivation has profound effects on your well-being. In this video, I want to explain those effects and then what to do about it. It can increase your risk of diabetes. It can increase insulin resistance, which comes before diabetes, increase your blood pressure. It can cause a heart attack directly. It can make you fat. It affects your mood, it puts you in a state of depression, anxiety, worry. It can increase your risk of getting a stroke. It can make you more susceptible to injury and getting in an accident. It also decreases your attention, your focus, and your memory. And it severely affects your mental state and even your vision. Other than that, it won't affect any other part of the body and you have nothing to worry about. But what is the actual root cause and why can't people sleep? And the number one thing behind having a sleep problem is being in flight or fight mode, okay? Being in the flight or fight is like being chased by a tiger. You're gonna have adrenaline go up, you're gonna have cortisol go up. Your body is prepared for some emergency or sudden survival action, as in flight, run away, or stand there and fight. Try to sleep if you're running away from something or you're fighting something. Now, this mechanism is part of something called the sympathetic nervous system. And by itself, it's really just sending signals to certain muscles and glands, which actually have the ability to contract hormones, and it'll affect the muscle called the diaphragm that affects your breathing. So the actual reason why you can't sleep has to do with increased muscle tone. So there's certain muscles in your body that will not let go. They will not relax. If your diaphragm is being activated, it's going to affect your breathing. You're going to be holding your breath. You're not going to have a relaxed breath. This is why controlled breathing actually can help you sleep as well. But the point you need to know, there are certain muscles in your body that are in a state of tightness. And that tension just won't let you drift off into a nice sleep. But if you have a sleeping problem, I want you to do something right now. Now, you're probably watching this in the middle of the night because this is on sleep deprivation. If so, I want you to isolate what muscle or muscles have tension in them. Is it your traps? Is it your lower back? Is it the muscles in the front part of the chest? Is it the muscles in the abdomen through here? Is it the legs? Is it your hip? Make mental note. All right, so now that you identified what muscles that are tight, this is the technique, and it's a bit counterintuitive. You wanna locate the muscle tightness, and then you wanna stretch the opposite muscle. Okay, now, what does that mean? Well, let's just pretend that your trap muscles up here are tight. You know, you're like this, okay? So your trap muscles raise your arm like that, right? So the opposing muscle would be the muscles that bring your arm down. They're called the lats. They're underneath the arms. I put a little chart down below. But here's what you want to do. You just want to stretch the opposite muscle. So in the example of the traps, you're going to stretch the lat. So you would take the top of a door or a bar at the gym and stretch. Okay, you're going to stretch the opposite muscle. What's going to happen is going to melt these traps. And the more that these muscles relax, the better you're going to sleep. This is why stretching before bed is so, so uh, important. So that's step one, and you can check out the muscles down below and get some ideas on what type of stretching you need to do. Now, the next thing to do relates to acupressure, okay? Now, you can use acupressure on other reasons why you have muscular tension too, like old injuries, for example. And I put some really good links down below of how to do acupressure, how to handle old injuries, and so you can start applying that to your body. Because if every part of your body was in a total state of relaxation, you would be able to sleep. Now, you also have three electrolytes that are involved with the relaxation of muscles. You have magnesium, potassium, and calcium. So if you are low in electrolytes, that can also affect the muscle relaxation. All right, guys, so go ahead and try this, apply it, comment down below, and check out some of these videos on this screen. I'll see you next time.